I want to talk about theories and laws. Okay, theories and laws. So let's talk about theories first. A theory is one or more tested hypothesis that explain a natural phenomenon. So once again, with the theory, you got one or more tested hypothesis, right? Let's just go back to make sure we, we get what we understand, right? Hypothesis is the explanation of an observation. So that means that something's been observed here and we're testing that hypothesis. And the theory is going to explain what's going on. So a good theory is right, uh, Dalton's atomic theory. We're going to go over that later, but basically um, he proposed like uh, matter is composed of these uh, uh, atoms, basically, okay? That was what he observed, and he came up with this theory, okay? And he did some experiments to test that hypothesis he had. Now, to compare that, we also have what we call a scientific law, okay? So scientific law is basically where it's a summary of many observations behaving the same, okay? So... They're acting the, uh, uh, we see many observations, but every time we see this, you know, it's always going to happen, right? It's like repetition, right? I know that uh, if this always, if, uh, you know, if something happens here, for, for instance, like gravity, right? Scientific law. Um, if I know if I drop my phone, it's going to fall. That's gravity, and that's law. You know, it's law. Um, and this is what we think of as with our scientific law, right? It's the summary of many observations behaving the same. So it's never going to change. It's just, that's law, okay? It's not changing. You know, that's just what it is. And with theory and laws, this is going to impact the way we approach, right, our science. So let's just look down here at this um, uh, uh, little graph chart thing I got here. A um, good way of explaining everything. So, like I mentioned, with the scientific approach, you know, we're still applying the scientific method. Now, think about this. We start off with observations. We observe something, okay? And we see something that's happening, okay? And, you know, this could go in multiple ways here. Really only two, okay? So, let's go to our theory route first. So, we observe something, and then, okay, we're going to come up with the hypothesis, okay? And with that hypothesis, you know, we get the hypothesis from our observation. Now that we have our hypothesis in mind, what are we going to do now? I'm going to test my hypothesis with experiments, okay? So I'm going to come up with a set of experiments, and I'm going to test that. And either those experiments are going to confirm my data, and then I can go back to my hypothesis and then I can experiment again to continue to test my hypothesis. And this can be a cycle in its own right, right? We can do this literally forever, okay? But after we do it enough times, right, we can then take that hypothesis and that hypothesis can then become a theory because we have tested multiple hypotheses explaining this observation, right, or natural phenomenon. So now, right, this hypothesis, right, has become a theory. And what are we going to do with that theory? We want to test the theory, all right? And this process will continue, right, to be tested. So now we come up with our experiments, right? We got this theory. We testing this theory to see if it's right. If this person made it up, is he wrong? Does he know what he's talking about? Does she know what she's talking about? I don't know. That's why we're testing the theory with our experiments. So now we're testing it with the experiments, and then we can either confirm the theory, or we might have to revise the theory if we see something based on our data. And this is how theories are coming to be about. But let's talk about the law. So let's start back all the way over. Say we start out with an observation here, right? We got our observation going on. I'm observing. And what if I see the same thing happening over and over and over again? But I can't explain what's going on. I, I have no idea what's going on. I can't explain it. 
But I know if I do this or if I see that, I know it's going to happen automatically, right? So this observation, even if I don't have an explanation yet, can become a law. That's what I want everybody to understand. Theories, you need a hypothesis. You need to test a hypothesis for a theory. Laws, right, with the law, don't matter because we already know it's going to happen. You know, I don't know why it's happening. I just know that that's about to happen, right? So that's, that's the law. Now, with that law, this is what we can do. We could turn that law and then we could start testing that law. Let's see, okay, well, what if I came up with this experiment, okay, and what if I do this and see what happens? Is the same thing going to happen? Okay, all right, and then it does happen. Okay, well, let me test that law one more time. Okay, what if I change this in my experiment? Is that same thing going to happen? Oh, okay, okay, bet it's still happening. Okay, so, or if I ever, right, if it doesn't happen, well, then we'll have to revise the law. Okay, something changed then. But if I notice right, for the most part, the same thing keeps happening, right? Well, it's just confirming that this is a law. Now, can a law turn to a theory? Yes, it can turn to a theory. So eventually, right, say I observe something, bam. I observe, right, the observation. I know it's a law. I tested it. Okay, it's still happening. Well, now that I've done these experiments, well, let me come up with a hypothesis as far as why is this law happening? And that's what we see here with many times, right? Somebody saw gravity happen. They didn't know exactly why, right? I don't know why my phone is dropping, but then they came up with that hypothesis for the law. That hypothesis, then, what do we see here? This is a scientific approach. The hypothesis goes to a theory, right? Because we came up with the hypothesis from the law. So now we can test the hypothesis, ultimately leading me to my theory. And now we're testing the theory that's about that law. Okay, and this is how this is how scientific approach, this is how we approach everything with laws and theories. Okay. We can observe something, we can have a hypothesis about it, we can test it with experiments, confirm it, make a theory about it, and then test that theory. We can also, if we don't have an explanation, but if we know it keeps happening over and over again, it could just become a law. We then test that law, come up with a hypothesis, hypothesis, test that theory, and then do the same thing all over again. This is the scientific approach, right? This is the scientific approach. Okay, and, and just to let everybody know, it's the same way. If you observe something, say you came up with a hypothesis, but you notice with this observation, the same thing keeps happening over and over and over again. That could eventually lead to some experiments leading to a law. Okay. But this is how we're looking at these theories and laws with the scientific method. It's an approach to how we do these things.